Hello, so I just got back from grocery shopping and I thought that I would do a grocery haul because I honestly don't remember the last time I have done one and I've been thinking about doing one for a long time. I've been traveling a lot recently so I have had weird grocery shopping and not just nothing has worked out to make a grocery haul video but I'm doing that today. I went to a store called Grocery Outlet which basically I think they just get excess stock from other stores so it's a lot cheaper and it's really cool to me they have a ton of super fun vegan items that I can't find at other stores or I can but they're way too overpriced so I don't buy them there I buy them at grocery outlet highly recommend them not sponsored whatsoever two things I want to say one I've not tried some of these items so during this video I'm going to be doing a taste test with them as I go along and two last time I did a grocery haul a lot of people were commenting like why didn't you get any beans or oats or grains or anything and that is just because for dry items like that I already have them in my pantry like I buy them in bulk so I don't need to buy oats constantly I don't need to buy potatoes or beans or lentils constantly so if you're wondering about those I just already have them. Let's just get started. The one thing I need to do first is the frozen item. Let me find that. First item is these mixed berry crumbles. I'm obsessed with these. They're just blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries all crumbled into tiny little pieces. And they're perfect for oatmeal. Because I don't like making oatmeal with big berries in it. I, it's not great. But this makes it the oatmeal taste like berries. But it hardly alters the texture. So that's really cool. I'm going to go put these in the freezer. And then I'll be back. The next thing is this Ripple Pea Protein Yogurt. So I've tried the Ripple Pea Protein Milk and I'm not a huge fan, so you might be wondering why I got this. They were only 89 cents each. I feel like in normal grocery stores, these would be at least like $2.99, which I would never pay for, but I decided to give them a shot. I also bought three, maybe not a good decision. I'm just hoping for the fact that I really like them and it was worth it, but I'm gonna do a taste test right now. So you can see if I like this. It has six grams of protein. It's made from pea protein water, sunflower oil, cane sugar, tapioca flour. There's protein, but it's still not like good for you. I mean, it looks like yogurt, but I'm not super excited. It's not great. I would never eat this plain. However, if I mixed like granola and fruit into it, it would be pretty good. Definitely not my go-to vegan yogurt ever. I would not recommend this. My favorite vegan yogurt, Kite Hill almond yogurt or silk almond yogurt. Both of those taste pretty identical, but still Kite Hill unsweetened plain almond yogurt is the best. Better than this pea protein one. Next, I got this teriyaki jackfruit. I don't know if I've ever had, have I ever had like pre-made Jackfruit from the store? I'm not sure. I've used like canned jackfruit and seasoned it myself. I don't know if I've used like pre-seasoned jackfruit, but this was like $2, so I thought, why not? Um, teriyaki sounds good, so we're gonna have to try this out. I'll probably try this by the time this video goes up, so I'll put it on the screen if I like it, one through 10. Like, how did I rate it? Also, the yogurt, I would rate five out of 10. It's just not great, but not bad either. Then I got some sauerkraut. I've never had this brand of sauerkraut, but I also have never had sauerkraut I don't like. I mean, I could just, let's just do a taste test right now. Tastes, tastes good. Tastes like sauerkraut. I don't know. It's good. I would rate it 9 out of 10. <gasps> I'm so excited for these. The brand Hope makes really, really, really good hummus. I have had, well, I've had a bunch of those. My two favorites are the black garlic and the Thai coconut curry, I believe, but I saw these, cashew and almond dip by Hope. This is a savory one with roasted garlic flavor. And this is chocolate. I've had chocolate hummus, but this is not hummus. There's no chickpeas. It's like cashew butter and almonds and I don't know. We're gonna taste both of these right now. We're just gonna do savory and then I'll move on to sweet, but I have a way to eat these and that is with my cauliflower tortilla chips. They seem interesting. The only ingredients are rice flour, chickpeas, cauliflower, sunflower oil, and salt. This is obviously a broken one, but they look like this. They honestly taste like absolutely nothing, but I guess it's good for these dips. <laughs> Looks like this. It's like a little weird. It's not super smooth. I was expecting it smoother, but it's okay. This is so good. It doesn't even matter that chips are bland if you dip it in this. This is like a 10 out of 10. I don't know what I would change for it. And now I have high hopes for the chocolate one. There's also an onion one, but I didn't want to buy three because that would just be a lot to eat. Ooh, see this one's smoother. Frosting or chocolate pudding. This is good too. So my memory card just ran out of space and while clearing the footage from old, like old footage, I ate like half of this garlic dip with the chips. Let me like 
This is so good. I wish I didn't buy the chocolate one. I wish I bought this one and the onion one, but I wanted to try a sweet and a savory, so I did, but um, highly recommend. If you ever see this, please get it. You will want to eat the whole thing in one day. So we're kind of all done with like the super fun stuff, but I got a can of chickpeas just because I don't have any like cooked beans right now for tonight and just wanted some quick. Then I got some bread. This is the Aura Wheat Sweet Baby Grains bread. I normally get Dave's Killer bread, but they didn't have any. So I got this one and looks very similar, so probably tastes good. Now we're just on the produce. I know nobody watches grocery hauls for produce. Like, that's just, you don't watch a grocery haul to watch someone show their pears. But um, I got a few pears. They're in all of the bag, just everywhere. So a few pears. Then got a few apples. I got some bananas, romaine, lettuce heads. And then I got two bags of persimmons. Overdoing it? Possibly. But persimmons are going out of season. And like this was probably the last I'm ever going to see them. So I got them and I'm going to eat one right now. These are also a little more ripe than I would like. But it was these persimmons or no persimmons. So I chose these persimmons. So I actually have to go. Just got a text. Um, I got to leave. But that was all the food I got. Hope you enjoyed this. I think it was kind of fun to do a taste test in my grocery haul. Let me know if you want more of these videos. I always like finding new food. And if you guys like seeing it, I would love to share more with you. Basically, all you have to take away from this video is please go get this roasted garlic dip. Um, your life will change. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.